Alrighty, Merry Christmas everybody. I am on the road for the holidays, so I have to do this video in my truck. So let's see how this turns out. This is going to be a video on my top five favorite knives that were released in 2022. The first one being this Wasp Rough Rider Barlow. You have these nice black and yellow G10 scales. Just an ordinary Barlow from Rough Rider. But what made this one different is they have the main clip point blade in front of the pen blade, which I know some past Rough Rider Barlows, it was the opposite. And it was a little difficult to get a hold of that clip point blade because the pen blade was right in front of it. But on this one you have nail nicks on both sides, so you don't have any difficulty getting to that main blade. Just the ordinary clip point and pen blade on this one. So nothing that special. So I open this. Oof. There you go. The Wasp Barlow. Really like the black and yellow. Excellent action. All right, there's number one. Number two is going to be... We got this... Tater Skin Moose. Very popular this year. Really like this equal end cigar shape pattern. Very nice brown micarta. Looks really good. And you have two bigger blades. Excellent fit and finish on this knife. And I like the shield. The only thing I would change is the R bolster. But oh well. So on this one, you do have a large spay like blade and then on the other side a nice clip point and these blades are kind of a satin finish which is kind of cool very nice half stops yeah solid really like this knife so that is number two, the Tater Skin Moose Rough Rider. Number three, another Rough Rider, but it's going to be this Cinnamon Stag Bone in Carbon Steel. You can see no R bolster, no shield. This one I did customize a little bit. I did scrape off the black um, coloring that they put on these bone scales and I burnt it myself. So this is my own burn job. And then I did patina the blade, that carbon blade. So it has a little gray or charcoal color to it, but very nice. I know these single blade Barlows are very popular. Um, this one was very, popular on the internet but the single bladed cinnamon stag bone carbon barlow from rough rider that's number three number four um again okay this is gonna be my fourth rough rider but my last one it's gonna be the rough rider reserve barlow with micarta handles and then d2 drop point spear point blade and this one i also did customize a little bit so you can see the micarta i dyed the bottom like a black or blue on both sides you can kind of see right there and the d2 blade i also patinaed to have like a charcoal faded effect very nice. I like it. Looks really good, in my opinion. But there is the Barlow, very popular also. These single bladed Barlows, people love them. They're just very thin. I think a lot of people can go without the pen blade. And you have a little lanyard hole. Really small, but you can fit a, a smaller string through that. And then my fifth one is actually a buck, a buck 110, but this one 
it has the drop point blade i think they might have this one still on the website it was a web special so you can only get it online on buck's website but you can see a nice drop point blade instead of the normal clip point some people love the clip point some people like the durability for um, piercing and stabbing with this drop point but this is your standard buck 110 nothing different really it did come with a black leather sheath but i don't have that with me very nice gotta love buck love these bucks buck 110 drop point very nice came razor sharp all the buck knives i've gotten crazy sharp and then honorable mention is going to be my remington bullet knife that i got this past month this one also is a barlow this one let's see right here remington barlow try to get close there we go this is from remington's annual bullet knife release last year's was from gec this one is from baron sun uh, went for like 69.99 i think they're still available on smkw.com very nice socket bone with a bullet shield other side just plain but a very nice knife these blades are stainless steel fin finish not the best but i can't complain do you love good barlow Alrighty, so there are my top five favorite knives of 2022 with an audible mention um, comment below what your favorite knife or knives were this year that you acquired or that were released this year like and subscribe my to my channel if you like knife content